Hello everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to agricultureinformation.com webinar. Today we are going to interact with Mr. Deepak Mehdi on lemon cultivation. And the format of this webinar will be as follows. I will mute everyone in the audience except Mr. Deepak. He will make his presentation. After we listen to him, we can ask him our questions. And you can ask your questions by typing your questions in the chat box or you can also email me at ed at agricultureinformation.com. I repeat, ed at agricultureinformation.com. And I'll ask the same questions to Mr. Deepak. And if we have time, I may unmute one or two members in the audience so that you can directly uh, to directly talk to Mr. Deepak. Uh, Mr. Deepak, I'm uh, unmuting you now. You can start your presentation. One second. Yeah, Mr. Deepak. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, you can start now. Hello. Mr. Deepak, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, you can start now. Okay. I'm Deepak Mehdi. I'm an aggregator from OSI University of Agriculture and Technology. So I'm interested with the horticultural crops, medicinal crops, and my favorite approach is mushrooms. But lemon has been my fascination. And this Assam lemon is a unique variety of lemon you find only in Assam and northeastern part of India. And this lemon is famous because of its flavor, its size, and its juice. And this lemon, like uh, like other lemon, you can only have the juice. But this lemon, you can have even the rind. You can chew the rind. That is also very tasty along with the juice. And uh, we have been cultivating this lemon for the last, uh, I think, 10 years. And uh, we are organizing the farmers. We are helping them with technology. We are helping them with cuttings and whatever uh, necessary, like, inputs that's needed for his cultivation. And this way we could organize the farmers in a very nice way. And we have now, uh, with the help of farmers, gone into very large plantations. We are also getting a good market locally. But to, like, to send it to other parts of India, we are having some problems because uh, of geographical isolation, a long distance. Uh, certain sometimes problem with the local situation, but even after all the uh, even after all the problems that we're having, that we could overcome, and we could give good profit, and we could also earn good profit from this crop. And if you if you want to like start the cultivation, it's very very easy. I think this is the easiest crop to cultivate. And it takes very, very less care. You, you don't need your much care. Like all you got to do is either you, you can you can go for multiplication or you can go for your plantation with cuttings or with leaf bud cuttings, or you can get the air layer, air layer plants, or even if you get the stem. If you put in the soil, like if you get some compost, you can have your hectare. In one hectare plant, you'll be having around 700 plants. And the 700 plants, almost every plant is going to give you around 200 lemons in one year. And with these 200 lemons, because of the large size, almost eight of them make one case. So with, from one hectare of land, you'll be getting around 188 quintals of lemon. I don't know the price that is prevailing in your place, the uh, cost of lemon, but in our place, we are getting extremely good price. So almost a hectare of lemon is going to give you around 3 to 4 lakhs of rupees. I think that's good money for a farmer. And you can also use that money for, uh, like, for irrigation. And irrigation is a very crucial point in the sense like if you want to get your crop during the winter months, you'll have to go for irrigation. If you irrigate it, the flowers will stay in the plant. And this, but if you do not irrigate, 
in winter months, the flowers go into shed from the tree. And once that happens, you won't be getting your fruits during the winter months. The peak period when you have the maximum number of fruits is right from August, September, or it's at times it may start from even June, July. So almost 12 months a year, you can have lemons from your plantation. And other important thing, because crop is there. Cattle certainly graze on this crop. Right? They don't like this. And another aspect that we are getting with this cultivation is that one person like he was an industrialist when she came to us and he told us that he is interested with the leaves of the plant. The way we inquired like to what he is going to do with the leaves, like he told that they're going to extract lemon oil. And then only we came to know that not only lemon we are getting like, but we can also get oil from it. But so far we have not started with it because we are still in the initial stage, but then this is, will be a good source of lemon oil that will be used in detergents and other like, aromas. And uh, about uh, like about marketing, like we, we tried with many of the companies. One of them was Shimla Valley a good guy. Uh, we had almost uh, signed an MOU with them, but at the last moment we had to backtrack because uh, they asked for a transfer subsidy because Northeast is a very far away and it cost a lot of money for transporting lemons. So we had to check at the last moment. But right now, the local market is giving the best price. And I think if uh, this cultivation, if it started in other places also, I think if our farmers going to good good return from this crop. And if you don't have land, what I've seen is that even in the boundary of the field, if you plant this, They're eating your lemon from this, and they're getting an additional additional crop. The other thing is that, like, if you go into the finer aspects of cultivation, this is like um, this. What is that? That like uh, when we uh, when we do when we plant the crop, like, so we will be planting it by April. So in April, like when the rain is in no different part of India, by April we are getting the first rain. So we we plant the crop when April comes. So there are some farmers. They, you can if you want want to send some money. If you want to get good crop, so you must go for fertilizers. The fertilizers. Some of farmers they don't use fertilizer in the first year. But if you want to use it in the first year, we're using urea at a rate of 330 grams, SSP at a rate of 625 grams. This is our plan. And the rate of potash, we're using 250 grams. In the second year, we are using urea 650 grams, SSP. 1250 grams. Third year, we are using 990 grams per plant, 1875 grams per plant, and 750 grams per plant. And in the fourth year, we are using urea, 1320 grams per plant, 2,500 grams per plant, SSP, and MOP, we are using 1,000 grams per plant. So this is what the fertilizer that you are going to use year-wise. Next, like uh, next, if you can, if you can dig a bore well, like, or if you can dig irrigation from the source that is nearest to you using your farm 
step like we are using scalp UVS here. So then also you can do it, then you can get the food. Uh, remember with irrigation the greatest plus point is there. You will be getting food throughout the year. But without irrigation, you will be getting food, but it will be only during the summer months starting from May, June, July, August, September, October. But during the winter months, whenever temperature comes down, without irrigation, you will be getting food. Hello. And then about micronutrients like Hello. Yeah, please go ahead. Hello. Using of micronutrients, like this is another added advantage that we have. The micronutrients it can be multiplex or so whatever micronutrients other than urea, SSP, and potash. Like all other nutrients that we are going, this called micronutrients that you can get in the market as multiplex and these are maybe I don't know what this. You can go to any other shop like the selling agricultural inputs, they will be giving you that. So micronutrients in case if you want to use, that we are using at a rate of 2 milliliters per liter. And you spray it whenever the new flash is going to come. New flash is coming in the month of April. So by April if you, you use this micronutrient, if you use by your sprayer, you are getting a bumper yield. That will be almost 200. The 200 lemon purple plant, like what I'm telling you, is it is the average, the low average we are counting. Like. The, the number of lemon per plant, it may be much, much higher than 200. So this is uh, like all about the lemon cultivation. So all we can help is that, like, because my main, my main like, objective is that, like, we must be helping other farmers or other people who are interested to take up the cultivation. So in their case, like you can have first class cuttings from us. Like, or if some of you are interested, you can come down. There will be an outing for you. Like you can come down, you can see the plantation, how we have started the plantation. You can stay in a village. Okay, so then I'm, I'm going to help you. If you see it yourself, you'll be fascinated. Like, and I'm sure you just will go back and you say, yes, I'm going to cultivate lemons. So this is all the technical advice that I can give you. Damn easy, I say once again. Damn easy, damn profitable, like, once you take up this cultivation. And if you don't want to waste your land, as I told you earlier, go in your boundaries, like, you can take up this crop. And, and about the uniqueness about this fruit, like, this lemon is that. I have seen lemon in other parts of India. They are small in size. And this lemon, like, they, ha they, they don't have much juice in them. But the lemon that we are I'm talking, we call this Assam lemon. So the big name is uh, Citrus lemon. L I M O N, Citrus lemon, the scientific name. So, what we think, this is a very, very specific crop to this region. Because we are having acidic soil, we have pH around say maybe 4.5 to 5 or slightly higher than 5. So, so this is like, um, so this is what, uh, like, because uh, this makes uh, the crop, like it suits very well in our climate. And I think in South also, South India or maybe in northern part of India, we like we're having a lot of rain or we have a temperature. Mild temperature. I think this spot is going to be miraculous. Hello. 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 Yeah, Mr. Deepak, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, you would like to yes, continue? Yes. Uh, no, I just see if some of them have questions like I can answer. Okay. Because I told them all the basic points. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you for the uh, informative talk, Mr. Deepak. Uh, audience, you can you. start your questions. Mr. Kirpal, Sandeep. I 
Anita? Can start uh, typing your question. Uh, Mr. Kirpan has one question. Yeah, can you visit your place? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, sure. You are most welcome. You are most welcome anytime. You will be my personal guest, like if you come here. I'm going to help you in every aspect, like come down once. There's an invitation from my side. Okay. Okay, Sandeep has question. This variety can be cultivated yes. around Hyderabad. Oh yes, yes, sure. I think uh, that you can cultivate this crop in Hyderabad. I'm sure. I'm sure. Like. Okay, and uh, what is the right season to cultivate to start the cultivation? April is the best part. Like I don't know when rain starts in your place, but then. April rain we start the first rain we are getting April here. So we we are planting it by slightly one month ahead or maybe a place. Whenever you see like then you can start at any time of the year. Like there is no nothing like that. Okay. Uh, does it require more rainfall? about rainfall like uh, it requires more rainfall but then if you have your irrigation like irrigation system if you have a shallow tube like I don't think you need you should be dependent on rain okay audience uh, please continue with your questions uh, yes uh, I could uh, Sandeep is asking me is it sensitive to low temperatures, yes. especially at the start? Yes, uh, low temperature. We are, see in northeast, uh, the lowest in Assam we are getting is the lowest we are getting is maybe around um, nine to thirteen degrees centigrade at night. So we are having good crop. So if lower than that at your place, I think that we have problem. Right? Okay. Mr. Himanshu, if you have any questions, please ask. Well, Sandeep is asking one question. What's, uh, what are the suitable intercrops? So, but intercrops like pineapple is the best crop. You can go for ginger in between. You can go for like um, turmeric, the turmeric love shed. So these are the intercrops. Okay. And uh, yield starts from which year? Yield will start right from the second year. Okay. Okay. So, what are the difficulties in this uh, cultivation? Any? What are the uh, like, diff common difficulties? Okay. Common difficulty you will be having is that. You'll be having a kind of borer, small kind, small inside, but it's a trunk borer you'll be having. Okay. Okay. The trouble it's causing is that it will be causing is that it will make holes in your branch and it will make tunnel and go inside. So in that case, if you find that they're making tunnels, they chop off the branch. Okay. Chop off okay. the branch, throw it away. Okay, that's all. Like it, you don't use any pesticide for it. Hmm. Okay. So if you just uh, cut, cut it off, uh, the, uh, the disease will go off? Yes, no problem. Like don't go for any pesticide. Better to avoid pesticides. Okay. And uh, since how long you have been into this cultivation? Uh, we have been doing this for the last, uh, I think, 8 to 10 years. Maybe around 10 years. Okay, okay. And uh, what are the difficulties you face in this then? 
So the first difficulty was uh, like about marketing of this crop. Uh, but oh. that was when we initially started it. In the third or fourth year, we had problem with marketing. And uh, now also we're having some, uh, that is the one problem, that is value addition. We are unable to do value addition we can, uh, because uh, we, can, we can go for squash preparation, we can go for pico, but that needs a lot of investment. Uh, so we are unable to go as we, all the farmers are not very rich because they are almost the middle of the farmers. So I think we will be picking up very soon about the value addition also. Okay. So can I like uh, one acre will record how many seeds are the plants? Uh, one acre, like uh, say, I will say hectare. I think two acres comes to one hectare. Seven point one hectare needs around seven hundred plants. So one acre, I think, that is half of one hectare. That will be around say three hundred fifty plants. Okay. So, like, uh, what is the process of uh, this uh, planting? Planting is damn simple. Then easy, I would say. Just dig holes, like uh, make uh, make a pitch. Uh, make a the pitch should be around say in depth it should be around 60 centimeters. In breadth it should be around 60 centimeters. Put a lot put a lot of compost. Don't put any fertilizer. Use fertilizer in the second year. Okay. Just bring the plant. It's already rooted plants. You can just. Put the plant there, put compost and all, and just cover it up. That way, that is easy and give light irrigation. That way, you can start it. Okay. So, what should be the difference between the, the two plants? Plant to plants, like it should be around three meters. Okay. Uh, Mr. Tandi, please. Okay, Mr. Tandi is asking: Is that uh, intensive cultivation? Hello. Hello. Oh uh, yes, yes, I, I could see it. Right? Yeah. Yes. Mr. Tandip is asking, is that intensive intensive cultivation? Yes, yes. Okay. Audience, please continue. Mr. Kirpal and Himanshu. Okay, he is asking the food starts post 24 months. Yes, you can get food in uh, 12 months a year. And food size, I never told you about food size. The food size is very large in size. It may be around 12 centimeters in length. In, like in the diameter, it may be around the, like 4 to 6 centimeters. Okay. Uh, can you repeat Mr. Sandeep? Uh, sorry, I mean Mr. Deeper. Hello? Uh, Mr. Sandeep could not hear. Yeah. yeah. Regarding the fruits. Oh, you, you want, fruits are like greenish, like good looking, greenish, very smooth skin like. Okay, no. Uh, uh, okay. They are almost 12 centimeters in length. Almost 12 centimeters in length, maybe a four or slightly more than four centimeters in diameter. Large sized fruits. Okay. And, uh, having a lot of scent, a lot of scent. Aroma is extremely like nice aroma. A lot of juice. Okay. Um, Mr. Okay. Tantip wanted uh, to, uh, yeah, same, but like uh, regarding the food start post five four months. Yes, I'm. Okay, if you plant it uh, like. From the second year, in, uh, like from second year, you can really get the fruits. Can you repeat, Mr. Deepak? Uh, I think just from the second year, you'll be getting the fruits. Mr. Deepak, can you just uh, type it down? Years, the first harvest. Can you hear me? Uh, your, voice is, your voice is breaking. Can you type it? Okay, I'm just I'm typing. Okay. Okay, I'm typing it from uh, 
Have you got my message from second year? Okay. Hello. From second year, have you got? Yeah, we. Message? I received it. I received it. Yeah, we have received it. Yes. Yes. Okay. And uh, what is the scientific name? Mr. Kirpal is asking, what is the scientific name? C I T R U S. Scientific name is citrus lemon. Citrus. C I T R U S. Okay. Citrus. L I L I M O N. Lemon. Citrus lemon is the scientific name. Okay. Okay, Mr. Sandeep has question from second year. Is that the case uh, with any lemon variety or especially Assam variety? Yes, we call it Assam lemon, like because uh, this is indigenous to this place. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, we could we could hear you. Yeah, we could hear you. Yes, yes. This is indigenous variety. We are getting it here. Okay, I'm giving the email ID. I just type. Hello, could you get my email ID? Yeah. See, any of you can contact me, like any time you can contact me, you are most welcome. Okay. If some uh, of you to come, want to come down also, I'm going to help you, don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, Vidala has one question, uh, what will be the investment for one acre? So almost one acre, see, frankly speaking, it will be only the your cuttings only, that will be the spending. Because in the first year you don't use fertilizer. So we just, I, I'm sure, just with 15,000 you can start it, like. You 15,000 will be sufficient for one acre. And go for your own compost. You can have your, you can make your own compost. It will be far easier and it will cost less money than relying on fertilizers. So with 15,000 I think uh, you can go for it, like. Okay. But then if you want to get the cuttings from here or from uh, the far off place, it will be much more. So locally, we can start with just 15,000 rupees. Okay. And uh, one can, uh, we can purchase uh, plants from you? Yes, yes sure. You okay. have to. Okay. Uh, Sandeep is asking the cost which you have told, is it uh, yearly cost? See, yearly cost, yes. No, that will be much more your report because uh, for that, like you'll be you'll be giving your like the fans will be there. Then you'll have to for maintenance, you'll have to keep somebody. Like, costs, like I'm not talking about his fixed costs. Like if you count the fixed costs, the yearly cost will be higher. Like it may it may touch around twenty two thousand rupees. Okay. And uh, uh, you provide consultancy service? Uh, yes, yes, sure. So anyone, uh, anyone, anyone can uh, uh, contact you and uh, take up the consultancy service? Yes, yes, sure, sure. Okay. You are most welcome, right? Okay. Uh, Kirpal is asking plants or seeds from where we can purchase. See, even uh, like I tell, I tell you, uh, we have seen in books that even uh, plantations can be started with seeds. But so far, we have not seen anybody starting with seeds from here. So the best material is that if you have the cuttings from us, or if you have somebody, some other source where you can get the cuttings, that is well and good. Like. Or one thing I tell you, that will be wise, like, so to reduce the cost. You take few cuttings, like say 100 or 100 or 200 cuttings. 
and you grow the plant. The next year you go for your own cuttings, like you can prepare your own cuttings, or you can go for leaf bud cuttings. In uh, this is important if you listen nicely. In case of leaf bud cuttings, when you grow your own plants, suppose hundred plants you have grown in your field, and from hundred plants you can have your own leaf bud cuttings. These cuttings are hardly two centimeters in length. From the main stem, you cut two centimeters. Keep one leaf there, leaf plant, and you plant it. That will be from one plant you can have, I think, maybe uh, say twenty thousand to thirty thousand plants. That is the easiest way, but that is going to take time because for those small plants to grow up, that may take around three years, so maybe slightly more. But that is the best way for those they're very far away, like, and they are those who are interested to take up this cultivation. Hello. Okay. Okay, Sandeep wanted to know yield per plant, that is the number of fruits out of per plant. Number of fruits per plant you are getting almost at a minimum is 200, 200. Okay. And uh, if anyone wants to take the consultancy from you, what will be the fees? See, I'll do it for free, like, don't worry about it. Oh, that's very good. Sandeep Kepal, I hope you got the answer. Hello. Okay. Uh, we will ask question. Once planted, how many times uh, we can cut the fruits? Okay, this, um, I just didn't understand, like once planted, how many times we can cut the fruit? Oh, that means we can harvest the fruits, you mean? Yeah. See, uh, whenever the, whenever, see, there is nothing like, uh, no particular like uh, timetable that you harvest. Once the fruits come and they take up around 12 centimeter size, you can plant the fruits. So in one harvest, you may, from one plant, you may have 20 fruits, 25 fruits. Then after seven days, you will find again they are getting to around 12, 20 meters. So slightly with the experience you've been doing, right? So there is no, uh, nothing like a new plush is coming, uh, like any, uh, like other crop. New plush is coming, then you finish with plush again, a new crop is coming, nothing like that. Okay. Only the whenever they get to the normal size, you pluck it. Okay. Sandeep is asking how many pickings per year, like uh, 200 is one time or yearly? No, that is yearly. Yearly from one plant, that is going to get around 200 lemons. Okay. Okay, so how tall uh, it can grow? The plant may, uh, the, it can grow up to two and a half meters. Okay. See, uh, see, uh, see. Uh, it may grow slightly even more than that. But for it is the wise for you to chop the plant, to prune it, so that you can maintain the height of two meters. So if you maintain the height of two meters, then easier for you for plucking and other agricultural operations. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Himanshu, I have not found any questions from you. If you have any questions, please ask. Uh, Sandeep, any further questions? And the Kirpal as well. Okay, Sandeep has question. So 50 tons per, e per year per acre. That's a uh, uh, phenomenon. Phenomen okay. Yes, yes. Phenomenon. Yes, we'll be getting there. Like, it comes out to say around uh, 
188, like 188 quintals per hectare. No, that, your calculation I don't think is right. Like, hello. Yeah. It will be around 188. That means uh, it will be 18.8, say 20 tons per hectare. 20 tons, so if, uh, it will be 10 tons per acre. 10 tons per acre. 250 plants into 200. Okay. Mr. Sandeep, I'll unmute you. Can you speak through your mic if it is working? And the video has a question. What is the most suitable crop for intercropping? For intercropping, turmeric is one crop. Ginger is another crop. You can also take up papayas in, in between. Because this crop, like the lemon bay, if you give a certain bit of shade, like it lasts it very much. And you can have the better with it. So you can, you can go for papaya, you can go for turmeric, you can go for ginger. So these are the crops you can take up as an intercrop. But once the plants they start growing, like it, it will increase in canopy, in size, like the covering area. So uh, say from the second or third year, it will be slightly difficult to go for intercrop. So in that case, they can go for papayas. So that will stand you in a good seat, like that you can have a <coughs> crop from a second crop. Okay. Mr. Sandeep, I have unmuted you. You can uh, talk. Yes, yeah, Sandeep, you are right. You are getting only 10 tons per acre. Okay. Yes, and give you go to answer. Okay, I have seen Mr. Rakesh Sarain just now. Yes, yes, I've seen Rakesh yeah. as well. Mr. Rakesh, you can start your questions if you want. Uh, you can start your questions. Or, uh, or I can unmute you. You can directly talk. Okay, okay. I just join no question. Okay, Sandeep has question. I can source the plants locally with the botanical name. Mr. So Sandeep, yeah, is it I a question or uh, your... Okay. I, I, I just gave the botanical name. Citrus lemon. Let's type it like... Yeah, you can type it. Sandeep, any more questions? Kirpa? Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Rakesh, waiting for your question. Or I can, I'll unmute you, you can directly ask, quickly ask. Okay, Mr. Rakesh, I got your message. <coughs> Vidala, you have any questions? Okay. Okay, uh, audience, so if you would like to continue this discussion and if you have uh, further doubts, you can uh, visit the discussion forum and you can continue this uh, this discussion in the to discussion to, through the forum. And uh, Mr. Deepak will answer the queries in the forum. And uh, before I end this meeting, I would like to have a good feedback on today's talk with Mr. Deepak. I'm just giving you the feedback link. Please visit this link. Uh, it will take just a minute to fill up this form. I'll be ending this meeting now. Thank you for uh, attending this, this webinar. This is an event organized by agricultureinformation.com. Please visit our online education section for forthcoming events. I'm closing this meeting now. Bye everyone. Have a nice evening. Uh, thank you Mr. Deepak thank you. for the, uh, thank the you. Thank good you information. So yeah, you're welcome. Thank, thank you Mr. Sandeep, Kirpal, Anita, Vidula.